I have about 40 hours of gameplay in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, so here are some essential early game tips and info to consider when starting your journey in Paldea. I'm Nerdy and welcome to the channel. I will not talk about story spoilers in this video, but some new Pokemon may make their way into the background footage. Let's jump into it. Don't sweat customization options in the beginning of the game. You will be able to change these at any point of your journey with a quick touch on the D-pad. Virtually everything can be changed, but make sure you select the skin tone you'd like. Change your settings. In your main settings, you find the essentials like changing the game's text speed. I chose fast. I ain't got time for slow dialogue. You can find other handy settings like skip move learning, send to boxes, and give nicknames. All of these features can now be accessed on the go from anywhere. There will be no penalty to change a nickname or relearn a move. Really want to start using that shiny Pokemon you just caught in the field? No worries, just grab them from the box and march onwards. Auto Battle Auto Battles, or Let's Go as the game calls it, can be activated by pressing the R button, and your Pokemon will dash towards whichever way your character is looking. You can do this right away, but the game will not prompt you to do so until your first few visits to the Pokemon Center. Make sure to use this feature to get easy XP for your whole team and start collecting materials needed to make helpful TMs. Use ZL to target. I slept on this feature at first. Let me say, these Pokemon are true to form in size when you explore Paldea, so it gets hard to see some of these guys, especially in handheld mode. Luckily, you can target on with ZL and get some more info on the Pokemon you're looking at. If you have seen the Pokemon already on your journey, you will get the name displayed, and if you have caught it, you'll have the Pokeball logo aside it. This is great for Pokedex completionists who do not want to start a battle just to see the Pokeball logo and confirm if it's already been added to your decks. Grab everything you can. There will be a little glimmering star on the ground to signify an item that can be picked up. You can throw out your Pokemon with the R button to collect it for you, or you can interact with it as you run over it. That's not all. Make sure to collect all the red Pokeball items glowing on the ground, as well as the green ones, which contain TMs. Play with audio when you can. While there's no audio cue for a shiny Pokemon, like in Pokemon Legends Arceus, you will find it helpful when roaming to have your audio nice and crisp for the sound of a gimme goal nearby. If you find the roaming form, you'll be rewarded with a few coins, but if you find the chest form and you catch it, you'll get 50, sometimes 80 coins. You'll need 999 of these for his evolution, so completionists don't sleep on this. Check out some new features. Some other features that are easily overlooked are auto healing and ask for advice. To auto heal a damaged Pokemon, just go to your menu and press the minus button while hovering over it. This will not use revives and will not use any items that would remove status conditions. This quality of life feature is a great addition, so you don't need to painstakingly go to your menu and calculate the correct amount of potions to use when you accidentally auto battle a Pokemon who almost one shot your Lichonk. Ask for advice is a new feature that pops up when you need to make a decision on what move to forget. Your Pokemon will now tell you what they want to do. This isn't terribly practical, but it does make me think of the anime and how Ash's Pokemon have a say in what they do, and that's pretty neat. If you're finding these tips helpful for your journey, hit that subscribe button and drop a like down below. Update your TV or monitor settings. A small one, but I had to update my refresh rate and my frame rate on my monitor when playing the game to match the console in order to avoid screen tearing. If you notice the game isn't running smoothly right off the bat, consider changing to 60 FPS with a lower refresh rate. Always have Pokeballs. Whether you're completely your Pokedex to get your shiny charm or not, yes, there is a shiny charm, you will never want to be without precious Pokeballs. Don't get caught fighting a shiny with no way to catch them. Luckily, you can use new currency called League Points, or LP, to purchase items alongside your typical Poke Dollars, so you should be able to stock up. Sell items. These Pokeballs ain't cheap, so make sure you sell the loot you acquire from running over all those glowing yellow dots in the ground, like Stardust, Nuggets, and anything else found in the Treasures tab. If you are ever wondering whether you should sell something or not, the description usually lets you know if it's okay to sell. Plan out your path. In this game, there are three paths to choose from. Starfall Street, Victory Road, and Path of Legends. These all serve a purpose in a meaningful way in your journey. When defeating gym leaders, you will be able to control and catch Pokemon at higher levels. This scales by five levels for each badge. For Path of Titans, you unlock more ways to travel with Coridon and Miraidon, like swimming, climbing, and gliding for each Titan you defeat. If one of those things sounded more important than the other, prioritize them. I did an even mix of gym and Titans before doing many Starfall Street challenges, so I could explore Paldea more with my Coridon. Don't spend too much time training Pokemon. Specifically, don't spend too much time training Pokemon to evolve for dex entries. You will encounter many of these early game Pokemon later in their evolved forms. Don't be afraid of heights. There's no fall damage in this game. This includes on Miraidon or Coridon. While not on your mount, if you fall from a tall building, your phone will come to your rescue and slow your fall. Once you're on a solid ground, you can press Y to return to the place you fell from. Collect sandwich recipes. Sandwiches and other foods give unique buffs to you and your Pokemon when playing the game. These range from egg power, catching power, XP point power, and even sparkling 
power to make it more likely to find shiny Pokemon. When you arrive into a new town, make sure to find the sandwich shop and speak with the man to the right of the counter. He will give you new recipes he's been working up. This can be done with every new town you enter, so don't forget to start doing this early and know which towns you already collected from. Organize accordingly. When using your boxes to grab Pokemon, make sure you exit on the box you want Pokemon going into. I always like to keep my shiny Pokemon in their own box, but I found that new catches would flood that box if I did not exit on a different box. You can expand your box sizes up to 32 boxes by having at least one Pokemon in each box. Move sets on the go. You can change the order of each Pokemon's move set by pressing Y in the move summary tab. You can also teach a Pokemon a TM move here, and in this game, TMs are only one use. If you later decide you don't want that Pokemon to know that TM anymore and replace the move, don't feel like you've wasted your TM on that Pokemon. You'll be able to access the forgotten TM move in the relearn menu at any time, anywhere. You now have everything you need for your journey in Paldea. Comment down below what you're most excited for in Scarlet and Violet, and on the way down, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. We'll see you in the next one.